five types of content that people actually want. Welcome. It is Friday. It's episode 235 of the Marketing for Owners podcast with me, John Butt, from marketingforowners.com, where I teach you and I teach me how to create our self-marketing company, a company that does its marketing all by itself. Oh, after you've set it up, you know, but the setting up is not as hard as you think. And then it kind of perpetuates. I have a system called the Perpetual Sales Cycle. It's what I've used and what my team used and my staff use to build up my businesses and continue to have them growing Why I'm hardly ever there. It'll work for you. Don't you go worrying, there's nothing for sale. Not yet, I'm sure it will come. But on a Friday, if you've listened to these for any any time, and I hope you have, because this is episode 235, you've got to go back and listen to the other 234 if you haven't. That's your homework. Every single Friday, we do, we have, we, me, I have a, uh, a weekend challenge, something for you to think about, something for you to do, or to challenge you over the weekend in your time off. Because I do hope you're having time off, and I know you're going to cheat and do a bit of work, so this is the thing to do because you haven't got any, many, so many customers and other things to do. So as usual, take out your pad or your piece of paper, grab a pen, grab a pencil, let me wait just while you're doing that. While you're doing that, by the way, I'll just explain to those of audible uh, audio v- uh, viewers, listeners even, on iTunes or Stitcher Radio or SoundCloud, the noise you can hear in the background is the sea. It is... It is waves crashing on the shore. Now, if you went to marketingforowners.com forward slash podcast, you would see the videos. In fact, this, if you on the end put forward slash 235 for the episode number, you'll see the video of this because it's recorded as a quick, simple video and then transferred into audio file for iTunes and Stitcher and so on. And then you'll see I'm at Deal. That behind me is Deal Pier. As far as I'm aware, it's the only pier in the entire UK to have been built from uh, since the war, the Second World War. Built from new, I think, since the Second World War. It replaced an old one. But it's a bit strange, not like the usual one. The length of it, 900 and something feet, and it says at the front, it's roughly the length of the Titanic. And it's got that funny looking thing on the end. It's a restaurant made to look in keeping like the rest of it and and that flat deck is usually full of fishermen there are loads of fishing records if you're ever in deal and want to go fishing come here loads of fishing records caught off that there pier uh, my son fishes off there he's never had anything near a record but that's another story back to this so <clears throat> these and by the way these are not the only types of content don't mishear me These are the types of content that people actually want to read. So they will actually share and read it. First off, thorough, on-topic articles that teach a lesson. Now, please, please, please don't waste your reader's time. If you waste their time, they won't come back. Don't go blogging about, if if you've got a business blog, this is different if it's just a family blog and you're not trying to make any income. If you're trying to make money, then you want to impress the reader. Don't waste their time with stories about you and your kids if it's not appropriate. Now, if you're a mom blogger or a dad blogger, that's slightly different, but otherwise they're not interested. Occasionally inject a bit of life and a bit of humanization into it, but don't go on all the time. They've come for information. Then it's not about you, it's about them. So make sure your topics, by the time they finish something, they've learned something. It was time well spent. Make it thorough so they fully understand. Make yourself to be the expert because you are. So show them everything you know. They will take the time to read a long article if it's good. Number two. Lists of related recommendations. That is 
listicles is a great term for it, but you've seen them everywhere, Buzzstream and bu uh, Buzzfeed and all these uh, uh, things like that. You will see 51 uh, ways to write content that sells, 27 sites to, uh, to find pinnable images, 32 of the best bloggers to be following, etc, etc. Now, a lot of the aficionados of top content hate these things because they describe them as low quality. However, the rest of us, we love them. That's why they're shared. That's why you see them so often, because people share them. And if you're the writer, you're getting in front of a bigger audience. When people share, it expands your reach to their audience. Multiply it by their audiences times yours. Massive. So write stuff they want to share. When they come back, they'll find the other good content in between them. Obviously, don't make every article one of these. We all love it. Christmas time, we look up. Before we decide what to buy our kids, we look up top 10 gifts for, for kids, boys, before we check that we're making a right decision, etc. We love to be told who to follow, what to do. Those, we love them. Videos. Don't forget that YouTube is free. Da da. I'm doing this on an iTunes, on an iTunes, on an iPhone. My iPhone that I had in my pocket. Yes, it's stuck on a on a tripod. And yes, I'm I've gone down to the beach. And yes, it's freezing cold, by the way. Um, but it's put on YouTube. That YouTube video is free. It then gives you a little embed code, which you just copy and paste on a page on your blog or on your website, and it pops the video up for you. So it's then on YouTube and it's on your blog. You can then even put the, upload the video to Facebook. If you do that, by the way, please don't add the YouTube one to Facebook. Upload the video to Facebook the same way you did to YouTube. Facebook prefers it because they're rivals. Yeah, remember? So, a lot of people want to watch videos sometimes when reading is just too much. They can't be bothered to read, they're tired, they just want to pull out the iPad, stick it in the hand and watch videos. So what better than to explain to people how to do stuff? How about narrating some of your best blog content into, an, into a video? People can then listen to it. Clever, eh? You could even make that into a podcast. <gasps> Gosh, do you see how this works? Podcast episodes, number four, that give a lesson. Da-da! Here's one. Here's one I prepared earlier. So notice that when I do my podcast, I'm not chatting about what I had in Starbucks, or in fact, there isn't a Starbucks. There's a Costa coffee and deal. But I'm not going to talk about that. I'm not going to uh, walk along the beach and tell you about that. If those things are for Periscope, of live streaming, the more real life, raw image type stuff. And uh, if you want to watch Periscope, by the way, catch me at periscope.tv forward slash marketing owners. There's no, none of the word for in there, just marketing owners. And there you should be able to see the old ones. Or you can go to catch with a K, K-A-T-C-H, dot me forward slash marketing owners. You can see them there as well. You'll catch my periscopes. Uh, and that's where I talk about the real, you know, just me and bits and pieces. But here, podcasts, make them short, make them sweet. Teach someone something they can listen to it while they're cooking a dinner or eating their breakfast on the way to work, on the train, while they're shopping around, around Walmart, things like that. Then number five, downloadable check sheets, checklists and cheat sheets. People love summaries. There are entire websites where people summarize books. These things people pay to be members of because they can't be bothered to read the whole book or before they commit to reading the whole book, they'd rather hear that someone uh, tells them it's worth their time. How about you doing that? Uh, some of, if you go to marketingforowners.com forward slash guides, 
you will find reams and reams and reams of checklists and cheat sheets, which are summaries of long posts that we wrote that are on one page or two pages and they're totally free. Knock yourself out, download as many as you can. By the way, if, if you're a member of the owner's club, you don't have to do anything, it's a one-click download. Uh, otherwise, you just have to enter your details just to get them and they'll be delivered to your email. Your choice. Both ways are free. Finally, number six, images that can be shared. And what I mean by that is make your images look good. Make them big enough to be shared. No thumbnails. Your website should reduce the thing. If you use a proper website like WordPress, it will reduce them on the page to the size for the display. But in the background, the image underneath is still the giant one. If people are going to pin them, uh, go to someone like I mentioned her on, on Wednesday, uh, byregina.com. Look at her images, look at her posts, see her shares, and see how many of her images have been pinned. That's Pinterest. Make them shareable. Go and see Rebecca Radice. Rebecca is spelt with K-A-H on the end, by the way. Uh, Radice, R-A-D-I-C-E. Google her name, you'll find it. Look at her images. Excellent. And people want to share stuff. It makes them look good. You provide the content, they look good with all their friends. You know when you're sitting around at a dinner party and someone says, anyone know a good dentist? Everyone tells them of their best dentist. Everyone wants to look good. Anyone know of a good wine that will go with fish? Someone will have one. Um, people like to look good. So make your images shareable, they share your posts, they share your content. And there you have six. And the reason for six, when the title said five, over deliver. <laughs> That's it. End of, have a fabulous weekend. I hope it's not as cold where you are. I'll see you next Monday.